How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to take notes on your Kindle Touch. Um, first thing you want to do is uh, pick one of your books. I'm going to go ahead and pick on the book I'm currently reading called The DNA of Relationships. Go ahead and tap on it. And it'll take you right into you know your book or whatever. So the first thing you need to know is um, let's say if you want to look up a word. Okay. Find a word and go ahead and hold down on it. And then this option will come up and it'll say a couple of things. It'll actually show the definition up here. And then if you hit show full definition, it'll actually give you like a couple different definitions and it goes more in depth. In fact, let me hold it this way so you can see it a little bit better. Um, so if you wanted to like make a note on that specific word, you would hit add note. Make sure you press down properly. And now it'll take you here. So on that word, mean I could put um, strong. I'm already spelling it wrong. Strong choice of strong choice of words. Okay. So now I can hit uh, enter at the bottom on the keyboard, and then hit save. And now on the word mean we getting a little bit closer it actually has um, a little two on top of it so if I tap on that word now the note will come up oh hold on oops you actually have to hold down and that's where I messed up if you hold down the word now this pops up and you can click on view note and you can see what we type strong choice of words and then I can go ahead and delete it, or I can edit it and make changes, or I can click on view notes and marks, and I can actually look at other notes I've taken in the, the book. So this is an area that I highlighted, this is another area that I bookmarked, and it tells you, it says location, it tells you the page, and it tells you what you did. So you highlighted this, here it says that I bookmarked it, and if you tap on that section, it'll actually take you right back to that place. So be careful uh, clicking on it and everything. Um, let's go ahead and do this. And I want to hit the back arrow and that will take me back to where I was at. So now I can just swipe up. And this is why I love reading on the Kindle. When you take notes, I can just tap on this section and it will take me right back there. Now this is a section that I highlighted. So that's the next part I want to show you. How do I highlight text? Great question, I'm glad you asked. So what you're gonna do, let's say I wanna start at we, and I wanna highlight all the way to the end of the sentence, which is uh, had right here. I'm gonna hold down on we, and then I want to just move across, keep going till I find the word I wanna stop on, and then down that section is highlighted, and then it'll ask you, do you wanna highlight it, or do you wanna add a note for that section? I wanna highlight it, so I tap on that, and now the whole section is highlighted. And also, if I tap at the top, I can click on Menu, and then I can come down to View Notes and Marks. This is another area you can go to find that. Okay. And now, I can go through. Every time you do that, it takes you down the page. Right here, it tells you page 6 of 11. Keep going. It actually puts them in order, so it this actually wouldn't show the last note I took. It'll just put it in order of where it is in the book. Okay, but um, this is uh pretty cool, you know, because on the previous Kindle, I'm not sure if you could take notes, but I know this being touchscreen makes it a lot easier. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just click on this section. This is the section that I highlighted, and so. Just to reiterate, if we hold down for a second, then we move, we can highlight. And let's say we hide this whole paragraph right here. Um, we can actually make a note on the whole paragraph. So I'm going to hit Add Note and say, um, very good. And, of course, I can't type. It does take a little while to use the keyboard. Very good. Um very good statement 
you know, something like that. You know, when you read and, you know, something stands out to you when it happens and then you go back later and you can't remember why you highlighted it. Well, it's always good to put a little note just to remember. Hit save. And now that section is saved. And so all I do is uh, hold down the section to so any one of the highlighted words. And um, it'll come up. Oh, you know what? Sorry. That was wrong. You have to hold down on the last word that so if you look right here where the three is, you want to hold down that last word. Okay, because it's closest to the three. And then it'll say view notes. And there it is. Okay. And then we can delete it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete notes. We can get rid of it. And now if you notice that little three is gone, it's not next to there, but it is still highlighted. You might say, what if I don't want this area highlighted anymore? Another great question. Let's hold down, let's see, that's not right. Hold down and highlight the whole section. Uh oh. Hold down. Let's see. So what we did was if you re-highlight the section It'll now come up with the option that says delete. So if we hit delete, it takes the highlighting away. Okay? So if I want to delete this section, I'd have to hold down and go over just the highlighted section, and then I can hit delete, and then it'll get rid of it. So this is, again, how you take notes on the Kindle Touch. Um, so just to reiterate, we went over how to look up the definition of a word. We just hold down any word, like relationship right here. Uh, it will give you the option. It'll, give, it'll always show you the definition and then give you the option to highlight or add a note. And um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And again, if you want to look up what you've already read or the notes you've taken, tap at the top and then click on Menu. And then go down to View Notes and Marks. And then you can scroll through and look at uh, notes that you've taken, but you can also look at what are called popular highlights. If you look at this bottom section, it says this is a popular highlight, and basically those are notes that uh, other people that have read the book digitally have highlighted, and so if enough people highlight it, they'll put it in a popular highlighted section so you, you can have it stand out with the rest of your notes. Okay, so hope that was helpful. Leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of the video, and have a good one.